Kent Henry. There have been many people who have influenced my life in as many different ways. The reformers from centuries ago, pastors, authors who have only met in their writings or sermons, my parents, siblings, these along with many unseen others who I couldn't even possibly know have been the tools in the Creator's hands to form what my life is now. The author is writing a beautiful, a glorious story, and unlike some of the other influencers that I could name in my life, you have single-handedly played one of the most visible and obvious roles in getting me where I am today. Uh, I'm sitting on my front porch while just inside is my pregnant wife, who I would have never met. Two sons whose lives would not exist if it weren't for you and your crazy, ridiculous dreams. If it wasn't for your childlike impulsiveness that God somehow seems to redeem every single time. And I don't know many impulsive people that I could honestly say that about, but I'm here to say that I'm glad that one day, some years ago, you impulsively deviated from your set schedule to come to my little church in my little town and tell me about one of those crazy, ridiculous dreams. I am forever glad that God ordained for that meeting and for me to believe you when you said it would change me. It has, and you have. EJ and I thank God every day for our life, and in doing so, we are thanking God for your life. Ephraim and Noah and all the babies that God cho chooses to bless us with may not know it here and now but they will be grateful to God for you now I could go on and I'm sure a lot of people have already said tons of nice things that I would say and I'm sure there are plenty of more people to come and say nice things that I would agree with so I just want to say don't get a big head or anything because we've seen enough of those guys come and like a noisy deflating balloon go. So you're different. And that's probably one of the bigger understatements we'll hear this evening. But it's true. And that makes me happy. That makes all of us who are celebrating your life happy. Now I'm just rambling, so I'll just say, I love you, my friend, and I will be seeing you. Oh my God, Kent Henry, son of the Most High, psalmist of God, happy birthday, 60, six the number of man, you're a man, zero, the circle of life, we love you so much. Happy birthday, Kent, we wish we could be there. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Kent, Kent. we love you. Kent, you're a great encouragement to all of us. We love you. We hope that you have an amazing year. Be blessed. Hey, Destiny family. This message is from PFC Eicholtz of the United States Army. Um, and I just wanted to give a little bit of a shout out to my good friend, Kent Henry, as well as a birthday wish. Um, I got the pleasure of meeting Kent Henry in 2006. Um, he kind of welcomed me into Destiny Church, kind of. Uh, showed me around, met some cool people out of that, as well as I got to attend Revolution School of Ministry where Kent Henry was an instructor and uh, it was a very, very encouraging place and I, I grew quite a bit spiritually, mentally, emotionally, uh, it's beyond words, um, the thanks that I, that I have for the entire Revolution staff but Kent Henry especially, um, just because the way that Kent Henry or Kent handles himself is, is it's so much more beyond than just a teacher to a student. He more or less takes the time to get to know each and every person and know their strengths and their weaknesses so that when, when things do arise, he can properly handle the situation. Um, as well, um, Kent was there for me when my, my dad passed and um, it was probably one of the toughest points in my life and I know that if I didn't have uh, such a 
such a great mentor in my life. Um, you know, I don't know where I would have been, and I am truly grateful for that. Um, as well, you know, my, in my spiritual life, I, I owe a lot of my my teaching and my growth that I that I got over time to Kent. Um, just having the heart of worship and you know having the the aspect of of loving life every day whether it's rainy or it's sunny outside um, I think that's a big thing that I learned and I appreciate um, Kent I know you're turning 60 Wow I would not have guessed that I would have guessed at least 29 maybe 30 you know but I wish you a happy birthday, and uh, you know I know you've got plenty more people to change, plenty more lives to reach out to. Um, so I wish you well, and uh, thank you for everything you've done for me, and thank you for everything you've done for all these people in this room. Thank you, Kent. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Ken Henry. Happy birthday to you, son of God. I had to throw that in there for you, Ken. I wish I could be there to celebrate your life and to sing happy birthday with everyone else, but I know they're going to take great care of you. I can't thank you enough for all the investments that you've made in my life, and I know in the lives of so many other people. The Bible says that when we water and we pour out, that we ourselves will be watered and refreshed. And this year, Kent, I'm believing you're going to come into a time of refreshing and a time of return for all the seeds that you've planted, all the times that you've watered and you've poured out to the lives of so many people so faithfully and so obedient to God's call on your life. I miss you, Kent. I love you. God bless you and your family. And happy birthday. Happy birthday, Ken. I just wanted to say thank you for believing in me when nobody else knew me from Adam in this little tiny town called Anchorage, Alaska. As you can see, I'm getting ready to head to Miss USA, so on your birthday, I will actually be competing. But I wanted to say happy birthday in advance from my state of Alaska and say that you made an impact in my life. Thank you so much. Happy 60th. You you're my hero. Hi, Kent. Hey. There are so not enough words to express how grateful we are uh, for the spiritual father role that you've played in our lives. So from Will and Laura to you, just thank you so, so, so much for every bit uh, that you poured into us. I just feel so honored to know you, and I just am so thankful for the role that you played in my life. and. Mm -hmm. How you've treated me so much like a daughter. Just naturally, you I feel like you encourage me and you lead me just like a father would. And um, that's invaluable in my life. And there have been so many times in our relationship that we've we've said, Oh, we really need a word from God. And and then that day you call and Always. you leave a message or whatever. And we're like, oh my gosh. And 80% and then, of the time it's like, hey, Will, you just need to listen to her because she's hearing from God. Exactly in here. We're obviously thankful for that because of, you know, the words directly from God and they always lead us the right direction and we're thankful that you just hear from, from God so much and you're such a good example in my life. I'm just, I'm learning from you. I've actually learned from you more than anybody in my life about how to lead people through encouragement and through being positive and how, what a strong message that gives people and so, um, uh, Thank you for that. Yep. And I just want to say thanks for um, just calling out the gold in my life. From when I was 16, and you probably had to look pretty hard to find it, you found it, and you always have kept uh, my vision on course with God's biggest vision for me and made sure I never settled for less and made sure I, I never let my eyes leave the mark of, of what God truly had uh, at the end point. So thank you so much for the role you played in our lives. And I'm out of words, so all I know how to do at this point is to dance. Everything I want.
on to me. song, right? Come on, how many of y'all remember this song? Oh, what a great song, man. I'm so blessed. You know, that song was written a lot of years ago, sung a lot of years ago, but it's never left my heart. It's never left my mind, and I'm so thankful for it. You know, there's lots of times where I'm feeling just the weight of life, and that song comes into my heart, and I start singing it, and God just gets glorified, and He lifts that burden, and it's so wonderful. Happy birthday, brother. Man, you're 60 years old. What in the world? You're old now. This is unbelievable. That's right, everybody. Pour on the old jokes. He can take it. He'll just laugh at it. <laughs> yeah, bro. You will laugh at all those jokes, but I'm telling you, you guys know that even though the outer shell of this guy may be getting a little old, his life is alive because he's alive in Christ. And I am so thankful for that example. And that's probably the reason why so many people are honoring this man today. You know, Kent, I remember as a little boy, my parents got saved at Grace World Outreach Church way back 30 years ago. And at, at five years old, I remember standing on the pews watching you lead worship with Leanne Albrecht and, and Debbie Amundsen and Tom Brooks and, and Carl Albrecht. Oh my gosh, my drumming idol. I wanted to emulate him for forever and uh, I just I remember those times being so awesome I loved the music I, I, I didn't know what was happening uh, I didn't know what God was doing but as I look back now 30 years later 15 years into the ministry now uh, I knew that God was doing something huge and, and God used you to plant that in a little five-year-old uh, little boy's heart and it's been growing ever since, and I'm so thankful for that growth, and you've helped me with that growth. You know, when I was in college, I was going through a pretty rough time of wondering where I was going to be, where I was going to end up, who I was going to be, or what I was going to be doing. And I started leading worship in college. I'd only played drums ever since I was eight, and, and I didn't start playing the guitar and leading worship until I got to college. And I remember talking to my campus pastor about a worship night that was coming up. And he goes, you know anybody who would like to like maybe come lead worship for our worship night? And I was like, oh my gosh, we need to get Ken Henry down here to lead worship. He would love to do it. And he goes, well, who's Ken Henry? And I'm like, you don't know who Ken Henry is? He goes, no. And I'm like, well, let me like, do you, you remember, you know that worship leader who he's like, he's really, oh man, he talks like this. Oh, oh God, oh. And he's like, oh yeah, that's Ken Henry. <laughs> I was like, yes, that's Kit Henry. He goes, well, what would it take to get him down here? And I said, man, I know him. I'm privileged and honored to know this guy. Maybe I could just give him a phone call and maybe he'd come down. Man, you came down and you led worship. We had a blast that night, but you talked about going for your passion. And I remember in 1999, at that night in that little church, sitting in that pew, saying yes to God, and I've never turned back. Never. You said, if you have a passion in your life, go for it. Go for that passion and don't look back. Man, I've never looked back. I'm doing what I'm doing today because of that night in that little church. And I want to thank you from all of my heart for that night, for you being obedient and speaking the truth of God into the lives of so many college students in that place and especially me. Fast forward a few years. You came down to Texas where I was leading worship at, at Tree of Life in New Braunfels and you led worship on a Saturday night. Well, that next morning, I don't know if you remember this, but that next morning my wife went into labor and you led worship in my place there at Tree of Life and you played this guitar. And look at this guitar. It's got holes, it's beat up and you lowered the strap on this guitar and put all of these holes in this guitar that morning. That's right, he put all these, hey everybody, I want everybody to take witness that this guitar is beating, oh, I'm, just totally, I'm totally kidding. You did not put all the holes in this guitar, although I am gonna send you the bill. But you, you dropped the strap, <laughs> you dropped the strap lower because you're a tall guy and I'm a short guy and so you, you, you lowered the strap and I have kept the strap at that same position ever since that day and I have led worship like that 
for, for so many years. I, I guess that day, uh, Jacob is now nine years old, so almost, so nine years ago, uh, you, you led worship. And that's actually coming up next week, uh, that date, uh, June 7th is coming up next week. And you played that guitar and I've put all these holes in it and people are like, what'd you do to your guitar, man? What in the world? It's like, you, you don't take care of your stuff. I'm like, no, you don't understand. This is a relic. Kent Henry played this guitar. Kent Henry, <laughs> he played this guitar. Man, brother, I am so thankful for all you are. And I'm sure everybody there is just pouring on the love. Everybody there is so appreciative of who you are. Happy birthday, man. Thank you so much for all you do and all you will do for the kingdom of God and the people that are in your life, man. God bless you, brother. Thank you so much. I love you. I love your family. God bless everybody there tonight. Be blessed. Happy birthday, Kent. It's Emily. I hope you're having a great surprise birthday party. And I'm so sorry I couldn't make it, but I'm actually going to be in Guatemala when you hear this. Um, I remember the first time I met you. It was during one of the kids' summer blasts and fast track, and you came down to lead worship. And afterwards, you walked up to me and said something like, I heard you harmonizing with me, girl. How old are you? And back then I was super shy, so I probably answered 10 or 11. But yeah, thinking back, I'm so glad I met you and started singing with you in the prayer room. I really grew a lot there and now singing in youth. And you've taught me a lot about worship and I'm so thankful that I got to get to know you better. And you're a great friend and a great teacher and I hope you have the best birthday. Hey, Kent. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> You're 60. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, just wanted to tell you uh, what you mean to both of us. I just consider you such a good friend. I really appreciate you in my life and uh, everything that you've done just to take us under your wing and um, just be a good friend and a, a good father figure uh, to me personally and um, in worship and in life and um, I just want to say I love you, bro, and I wish I was there to be with you. I'm sorry that I couldn't, but I'll see it's you. It's not my fault. Mm. It's my birthday. <laughs> it is her birthday this weekend. Um, all right. So, uh, <laughs> but I just want to say, uh, well, I guess I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Anyway, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. I love you, bro. Um, I hope today is awesome, and uh, yeah, love you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. La -da -da. La -da -da. La -da -da. What up, Kent? That's that Kent Henry swagger. Happy birthday, man. Happy birthday, Kent. We love you. We this, love you. We're in Chicago. We couldn't be here to sell. We couldn't be there to celebrate with you. So we just took time out of our busy schedule oh, hush. of doing no, so we, much ministry that we just could not be there. And we I, to, no, I'm just kidding. No, we, this is where we live now. We actually moved to Chicago. <laughs> we live here now. And uh, we were just with um, a friend. Uh, Paul Barker tonight that was just like you guys know Ken Henry we were like yeah we got to do this video for him but uh, we were just talking about how awesome you are and how Isaiah started sharing about how you were the first white guy we knew that would just in the middle of like gym or who interrupts or, the whole service or, or whoever is speaking and would just say this like in the middle of a message here comes the way Ride the Holy Spirit. We're surfing on the power of God. Three shots of Holy Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Who does Kent, that? we love you. We There's love you, no man. one like you in the whole wide stinking world. So happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy 60th. We love you. You don't look a day over 30. Keep rocking it out for the Lord. We love you, man. Bye-bye.